Now once again with the play-by-play -play of the second half, here's Larry Munson. Peterson kicks off of the Dogs, 20 to 7. Georgia Southern, the deep man is Bradham. Bright sunshine. Start the third quarter, high, deep kick, right to the goal line. Bradham out to the 10 to the 15, and they hit him hard on the 19-yard line. And it'll be first down there. Ball wrap by Trey, the receiver, was the first man that actually hit him. Georgia Southern's ball just outside of the 19. Miami's 17 to 7 on Penn State, and they are in the fourth. And again, repeating Arkansas 16, Tennessee 7, they are in the third. Bostic is back in at quarterback for Southern. Georgia Southern 13 down. They led 7 to nothing almost immediately today on a 41-yard keeper by Bostic. Bostic turns, starts to the left, pitches it out to the fullback, Williams, and he's going to get outside and get about eight or nine. Played very well by a member of the secondary over on the right side who came off a blocker, Al Jackson, and then made an open field stop on the 29. He got nine yards, second and one. Lauren? Well, in the locker room, the offensive coaches were saying to the offense, everything we want to do is working, but you're not quite sharp enough. You're not efficient enough. You're still making mistakes, um, still missing a few blocks, so they feel like the offense ought to put more points on the board, ought to be a lot smoother. Second and one to the fullback. Williams up inside. Bostic gave to him and got four. James Williams, 5'9", 201, a junior out of Thomasville. Greg Jackson, the defensive end, crossed in from one side and made the stop. First down for Georgia Southern. Dogs lead 20-7. to seven. Missed a long field goal in the second quarter and had a touchdown call back in the second quarter. Three wideouts now. Only half of the flex bone is set. Bostic underneath on their own 33. Fumbled the ball. And there's a pile up in there on the 32 and a half. And let's see. There was four or five red and white jerseys crawling around for that ball. And Bostic was trying to get back to it. It'll be Southern's ball. Barnum almost got to it. Ball is back inside the 32. They lost the yard, but they kept the ball second and 11. Bright sunshine and a beautiful day in Athens. 20 to 7, Georgia leading. Southern slot right. Williams, the fullback behind him. He turns, he pitches it to the trailing back outside. Comes Parrish. Parrish wide to the right and got hit very hard on the 35 and a half. He came wide right. And ball is going to be spotted where? Hit by Randall Godfrey, a young linebacker, by Mike Jones, a strong safety. He was fumbling as he went down, and the dogs, Godfrey, came up with the ball and thought they should have the ball. It'll be third down now and about seven and a half. They started on the 33. They're now on the 35 and a half. Illinois 15, Ohio State 13 in the third. 20 to 7 here in the third. Georgia Southern, three wide outs. Bostic takes it, comes back to throw. Looks, looks, he's in trouble. He's scrambling. He now fires way over the Georgia bench. Greg Jackson really had some pressure on him. And it'll be fourth down. Lauren, what do you got? Well, Larry, when Georgia gets the ball back on offense, I think you'll see Garrison Hurst back in there. I think he's okay. And I think they want him to run, gain some yards, and uh, improve his statistics a little bit. Georgia Southern fourth down. A little better than seven, and Thatcher to punt. Dogs got close to him, and it hits on the 35 in Georgia territory and kicks back out to about the 39, and Southern downs it there. Thatcher's had two bad punts in this game, but in practice, as I mentioned earlier, he was really booming that ball. Florida State 29, North Carolina 10 in the third quarter. Timeout here. Let's go. Georgia's ball. First down in their own 39 and a half. Hurst dancing outside for five, seven, eight, nine yards. Out close to the 48. He picked his way. He got four or five yards quick, and then he had to pull his legs away from people. Hurst, who has just come back in for the second time since being injured early. Sean Austin, the corner, hit him. Don Hudson, the free safety, hit him. Dogs are up there on their own 48, second and one. Again, third quarter, Arkansas 16, Tennessee 7, somewhere in the third. 
Southern's four-man front almost became five. Then they pulled the linebackers back. So we go to Fake and Zyre then. Going to throw a long pass to Hastings, and it is caught. Flag down, touchdown. It would have been interference, I believe. Hastings took it away from the defensive back, stumbled backwards, and got into the end zone by half his body. They threw a flag immediately when he went up to catch it. Zyre really faked the Hurst up inside and then just hauled off and threw it 52 yards. They're bringing Zyre up to the officials, telling him he has some kind of an option. It is 26 to 7. Boy, did he fake and then cock his arm and let it go, and Hastings had to turn around and reach. 26 to 7, and Georgia will go for the extra point. Lauren? Dog's going to be set for the extra point. 11 29 in the third quarter. 26 to 7. Todd Peterson, as it's set down, puts the kick up, and the kick is good, and it's 27 to 7. Timeout, these words. There was a 15 yard pass interference penalty on the play that is now assessed, and the dogs will kick off from the 50 instead of where normally, and Todd Peterson will be setting it up there. 27 to 7, 11 29 to go in the third quarter. Ficklin is the deep man for the first time today for Georgia Southern. Peterson hits it too far. Long ball back of the end zone. Warren, what do you got? Well, on the touchdown pass, uh, Zara really uh, pulled a great fake. There was a guy standing right, uh, arm's length almost, and Zara had the ball on his hip, and then he throws it in for the touchdown. Very well executed play. A couple of other players who wore number 10 were pretty good at faking the ball. Fran Tarkinen, of course. And uh, Coach Ray Goff, although Ray probably was best at faking that pitch on that option. Larry, you remember how he used oh, yeah. to fake it and pull it back? He was expert at that. Yes, I do. Georgia Southern's ball, they're on their own 20. Bostick the quarter. They trail 27 to 7 early in the third. Bostick fakes, sprints out to the left side, turns a corner, and got about five. Greg Jackson hit him. Kansas 7, Kansas State nothing into the first. LSU 10, Florida 7 in the second. Arkansas grimly hanging on 16 to 7 on Tennessee. Now it's 16 to 14 in the third quarter. Arkansas is 16 14 in the third quarter. Tennessee has scored to cut it down to two. Here, Georgia Southern's 20 points down. They're on their own 25. Second and five. Georgia's in a five. And they run the fullback. Williams up for a first down to the 31. Had a quick opening in a hole. We hit him right on the 31. The linebacker hit him. The defensive end, Greg Jackson, hit him. And he may be down. Greg Trimble of the secondary also helped him. Southern's got a man down back in the 25. And they got a man down at the impact of the tackle. But he's all right. 10.48 to go. It's Rusty Parrish, the center, who is down back behind the play. 27 to 7, Georgia leading with that touchdown catch by Andre Hastings. He now has 11 in his career. He shares a school record with Bobby Walston and Charles Whittemore, and they played a considerable amount of time longer. So Hastings has got 11 kind of quick. 27 to 7. Georgia had 256 yards total rushing and passing in the first half, and Southern had 156. Dogs are only 8 out of 14 for 64 yards passing, but had 192 rushing. And the center for Southern is coming off the field. A big kid out of Thomasville, which I think is the home of Miller Pope, our engineer. First down, Southern on the 31, 27 to 7. Williams alone back behind the quarterback. Bostic turns. He pitches it wide to Ficklin coming out to the right. He needs a block. The defense catches him up on the 33. Godfrey, the linebacker, coming across. Greg Trimble, the free safety, coming up also. Dogs have good speed and talent back there at linebacker and secondary all year in its show. That gain was two, second and eight. These guys are doing like Tennessee's always done. The quarterback takes one step in one direction, then wheels and goes the other. 27 to 7, Georgia leading. Bostic brings him up on that flex bone. Second down, 
about eight. He wants to fake. He gets a block behind the line in desperation. Then he's running, and he's going to get knocked out of bounds around the 30 by Greg Jackson. Maurice Harrell, off the injured list, the linebacker, had pretty good pressure on him, almost got him. And they'll mark him on the 29. He had a loss of maybe three or four yards. Georgia Southern is third and 12. 27 to 7, dogs leading. Meanwhile, up in Knoxville, Tennessee's trying to take control of their game. They're moving again. Bostick, the quarterback, with a flex bone. And two men split wide, takes it and comes back and looks and whips it down the middle. Complete. We hit him right on the 40. He's close to a first down. Maurice Harrell hit him. Shafton Fraley, the running back, who had just come in. They may spot him on the 41 and give him a first down, or we may have to measure this thing. First down, Georgia Southern. 9.51, and now the clock running in the third quarter, 27-7. LSU 10, Florida 7 in the second quarter. Miami 17, Penn State 7 in the fourth. Three wideouts. Bostic pitching it out to Williams. Williams can't get to the corner. The defense catches up to him and he lost the yard. Randall Godfrey, that young freshman linebacker, sprinting across to get him. And it'll be second and 11. Georgia Southern out there on their own 40, trailing 27 to 7. Repeating for a while today, Arkansas was nine fat points out in front of Tennessee. Now they're down to two, and Tennessee's driving. Slot. Bostic back to pass on second down. Roams alone out on the right. Fires to the 45 complete. And the receiver got hit and fumbled the ball on the 48, and everybody's diving on the ball right in there. Al Jackson was the man making the tackle to Fraley or stripping his arms. But Southern will have the ball up on the 48, about an eight-yarder, and it'll be third down. He bumped right off one tackle. Put it just outside the 48, third down, three for Southern. They interchange at the wideout spot. Texas Tech 13, NC State 7 in the second quarter. Here it's 27 to 7, Georgia, middle of the third quarter. Bostic underneath. They need three short yards. Takes it, sprints out to the left, and we chase him behind the line, and he's going to turn and cut in and get the first down. He got about seven yards. Damon Ward caught him. Down near the dogs, 44. And Tom Wallace, the tackle, was chasing him also there. Ball on the 44 and a first down for Southern. They got about eight yards. Mitch Davis is limping off the field, the outside linebacker. Danny Ledbetter comes in. First down, Southern moving the ball. They are on the 44. They're trailing 27 to 7, exactly now the middle of the third. They're on a little quick trap, and Williams broke it loose and got 10, 11, 12 yards. Chris Wilson had to stop him. He ran right into Chris Wilson chest to chest and then tried to twist away, but he got about 11 yards or so on a first down. They put it down in the 34. Southern starting to knock on the door. These two teams racking up yardage today. Impressive drive. They've kept yes. it alive with a couple of uh, a couple of nice breakaway plays, a big pass play. Flex bone and two wideouts. Bostic. Kneels down, he's 34 yards away, and he runs to the fullback, and Williams bangs it in for four yards to the 30 at left guard. And Georgia Southern is opening up some gaps inside. Randall Godfrey had to tackle him. Now we're taking Clemens in, taking Damon Ward out at linebacker. Southern on an impressive drive, second and six. They've come down to the Georgia 30. Clock running at 6.40 something. Third quarter, 27 to 7, Georgia. Flexbone, two wideouts, one short and one wide. Bostic going to take it and start back. 
and we chase him behind the line, running wide to the right. Going to keep it and get hit and fall out of bounds, but he's got a first down, I think, on the 23 and a half. Randall Godfrey from behind chased him across the field, got it back of his shoe, but on the play, he got about six or six and a half, and it's a first down to the Georgia 23 and a half. Torrey Evans comes in and led better out at a linebacker. Very impressive drive by Georgia Southern. They're 20 points down, but they've now driven this thing 50-odd yards. 6-24. Southern in white. Georgia in red. Southern up to the ball, playing with their number two center, Scott Chapin. The other guy got hurt five minutes ago. Parrish. Plastic. Turn around to run. Pitches it outside. And they got the man outside. Fraley and Fraley's all the way down to about the nine. He pitched it to Shafton Fraley wide on the left corner. Running that option. And the Eagles are going to get about 11 yards and a first down. They got about 13 yards in the first down. Tennessee 17, Arkansas 16. That's apparently the end of the third. Tennessee got a field goal and took a one-point lead. That's 10 straight points Tennessee has scored in this second half. Arkansas falling behind. Georgia Southern with a long drive. And they go to Williams inside, and he fumbled the ball, and there's a big scramble, and a dog pick it up on the 10, and I think Georgia's got the ball. Williams banged inside and dropped the ball on the nine and a half. Chris Wilson picked it up. The cornerback, the little senior out of Macon, only five foot eight, and tried to go with it and got knocked down. He took about a half a step. It's Georgia's ball. Georgia Southern just drove it about 65 yards and fumbled, running the fullback Williams inside. England tells me that Tennessee kicked a 54-yard field goal to get that 17-16 lead in the end of the third. Georgia's ball, a fumble saved them down on their own 10. Zire underneath, toss sweep to Hurst, who's hesitating. Now he's going to come out, got tripped from behind and went down and only got about three. Paul Carroll, the nose guard, had tripped him. He stumbled and tried to keep going and could not. But from the 10, where Wilson's fumble recovery had brought it out, he got three and a half. Second down. Warren? Well, Larry, Georgia Southern ran some beautiful option there. Beautiful if you want to look at uh, how effective it was from an offensive football standpoint. Uh, it just shows you how important the quarterback really is, and I'll have more comment about that after this play. Dogs are second and seven inside their own 15. Sire going to take it and give it to Hurst. No hole. Somebody came off the right side and hit him. Darius Dawson, a linebacker from Moultrie, came in off the corner and hit him a couple of feet behind the line. Lauren? Well, I was just going to say, when you got a quarterback who can really run, who can do some things, the option in rushing attack can be very strong. That's why in the pros it's so hard for them to ever get a 100 yards offense because they're not going to put that quarterback in there. That's why they throw the ball so much. But a quarterback who can really do some things like Georgia Southern can really make a difference in a ball game. Ball up on the 14. It's third down, about six and a half. The last game was negligible. Zire passing, dropped by Max Strong out on the 21 or two-yard line. And boy, did he get hit afterwards. No, that was Shannon Mitchell, I'm sorry, the tight end. Strong was over there by him. Fourth down, six and a half, and the dogs have not moved. Georgia Southern just made a long drive, fumbled as they crossed the 10. And now they force Georgia in a punting situation. Scott Armstrong from Mississippi. One deep man, Brandon Roselle. Good snap. They set a rush on, and the kick is high, wobbly. Hits on the dogs, 44, 43, and just bounces dead there. Not a long punt. And it'll be excellent field position for the Eagles with the ball out there inside the 44. Station identification here on the Georgia Bulldog Network and Division of the American Network Group. After the game, I hunker down to a home-cooked meal at the Waffle House. Open 24 hours, it's Waffle House for the fastest, friendliest service in town. News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB, Atlanta. Southern first down, just across the Georgia 44. Bostic turning and faking, keeps it at the left corner, cuts inside and took it down to about the 36. He got about eight yards. Southern is just biting off the yardage. Maurice Harrell, the linebacker, got him. 
Dogs got out there 27 to 7, and since then, Southern has just kept the ball and has been driving and racking up yards, but they haven't punched it in yet. Second down and two. Southern up to the line. They split two men. They got that flex bone. Charles Bostick behind. And he runs the fullback up in the middle and gets, I think, a first down. That's Holmes, a number two fullback. That was not James Williams. Chad Holmes, a redshirt freshman from Griffin, went straight ahead. They may measure. Let's see. Looks like he got it to the 33 and a half, which should be enough. The officials decide they'll measure. They needed a short two. And they'll bring it out and give him a first down on the 33 and a half. Getting late in the third quarter, 27 to 7. Bostic, after that short punt, had great field position, and he's immediately moved him 10 yards for another first down. Split one man wide right, one short to the left. The backs are in the flex bone. Bostic keeps it, pitches it to the back outside. He got to the corner, stumbling across the 30. Torrey Evans getting him. Shafton Fraley wide to the left side and got about six, second down and four. Ball on the 28. 27 to 7, Georgia. Southern with a short drive underway. They just made a long one. They're working on the Georgia center down here on the left ankle, I believe, of Jack Swan. They're taping it up. Second down. Southern. Bostic starts out. He pitches it wide outside to Picklin, who turns and cuts in and got knocked down to the 20, but it's a first down. He got knocked forward four or five steps. But they got about eight yards, and it'll be first down for Southern on the 20. Charles Pledger made the stop. Torrey Evans, the linebacker, had him. Also, first down. Southern knocking on the door for the second time in the last five minutes. Southern kind of got their momentum up here. They're still trailing 27 to 7. Big slot to the left side. They run the fullback in and get a couple. Chad Holmes, 5'9", 190, red shirt freshman to Griffin. You could see him get stopped at right guard, but he kept his legs going, and I believe he got a couple. Clemens and Godfrey, the linebackers, stopping the play. Ball on the 18, second down and eight. Southern trying to cut a 20-point game down. Southern breaks a man wide left. That's Wilson. Man short to the right. That's Sorrell. One back behind Bostic with 90 seconds in the third quarter. Bostic starts out to run the option. He pitches wide, but he got it to his man on the corner, and they'll finally hit him and almost got a first down. And that was Chad Holmes, the fullback. He pitched it wide, and Holmes caught it with his left hand, one-handed behind the line, and turned the corner. Needed eight and got about six, third down. Greg Trimble in the secondary. Boys, that secondary have to make a lot of tackles, or at least they have been doing a lot of tackles this year. Ball on the 12 and a half time call. Late in the Miami leading Penn State 17-14 with four and a half minutes to go. Up in Knoxville with a one-point lead. Tennessee is driving deep into Arkansas territory. Third down, three. Georgia Southern threatening again. They're on the dogs, 13. Flag down as they run the fullback in there, but I believe we have a motion penalty call. Georgia Southern's left tackle really jumped and moved. There were two, three flags on that play. George's nose tackle Barnum made the last stop and came up hurt a little. Ball start, five yards on Southern, back out to the 18-yard line where they're third down. Dogs lead 27 to 7. We put McKeever in at nose guard. Wake Forest killing Vanderbilt 20 to nothing in the second quarter. 20 to nothing in the second quarter, Wake Forest. Southern third down on the Dogs 18. Bostic underneath, pitches it wide outside of the back and got him to the corner and got him to the nine, a first down. Willando Ficklin, a junior out of Atlanta. 
who had good speed and swept from the left wide out across and got about eight and a half or nine, and it's goal to go, Southern. Knocking on the door again late in the third quarter. They are on the nine and a half. Lauren? At the half, Richard Bell, the Georgia defensive coordinator, says they're taking it to you. His players were listening, but I don't know if they heard him, Larry. This doesn't look good. Southern gives it to Holmes inside the fullback, and he didn't get much, maybe a yard. He started inside, and the defensive front of Jackson and McKeever and Wallace were not moved. They gave him a yard from the nine and a half down the eight. He got a yard and a half second down. Time maybe for a play before the quarter ends. Parrish is back in at the tail. Holmes and Fraley are the other backs. Holmes, the deep back. They're 20 down on second down and goal to go. Bostic comes out and pitches it, and there's a fumble behind the line, and George has got the ball. Godfrey forgot to pick it up and run. He curled around the ball, but it's out on the 15, and they fumbled away another one. Randall Godfrey on the pitch that was fumbled four or five yards behind the line, curled on it, rolled over. That's the second time in this half, O'Brien. They've dropped it down close. What a strange quarter, Larry. They completely dominated the third quarter. They ran 17 offensive plays. Georgia only five, forced the dogs to punt for the first time. But Southern has nothing on the board, and they're still down 27-7. to Two seconds left. Dogs get the ball on their own 15. We slot two men. We toss it out to Hurst. Hurst cuts inside and gets five down to the 20 as the quarter ends. Georgia 27, Georgia 7, 7, timeout. 27 to 7, Georgia still a 20-point lead. Georgia Southern fumbled it twice in the vicinity of our 10-yard line in the third quarter. Louis Phillips tells me Tennessee just scored again. They're trying to take command of that thing. That ought to give them an eight-point lead. 24 to 16 early in the fourth quarter now up in Knoxville. Arkansas led early 16 to 7. Zire going to give it to Hurst, picking his way in the middle and got rocked hard up on the 24-yard line. The linebacker Huey Hunt, the first guy that hit him, a kid out of Hinesville. But the play moved. Let's see where they spot it. Ball was just across the 20, and Hurst picking his way in the middle, got it out to the 24. Got about four yards. 14 and a half minutes to go, 27 to 7. Zire has the back split in a slot left. Southern comes up with a five and then backs off into a four, and Zire goes to Hurst, and he picks his way in a hole and leans one way in the other and keeps going to the 34. Hurst running tough for nine more yards. He got 119 yards in the first quarter today and got hurt. Dawson, the linebacker, made the stop for Georgia. Southern first down. Lauren? Sending in the plays by Semaphore this year is Mike McQuerta, one of the line coaches that used to be Bob Harris's job, the receiver coach. And he does a good job. He stays right on top of the ball. As soon as it's spotted, he starts talking to them upstairs to get the play to send into the quarterback. With a slot, Zire gives it to Max Strong, trying to get out to the corner. And they knock him down on the 37 and a half or eight yard line. Trying to go wide left, couldn't quite get strong around the corner. Alex Mash, the end on that side from Thomasville, playing it well. And the gain was barely three out to the 38. Second and seven. Fourth quarter, 27 to seven. Some fans have started out. Dogs with two wide outs, plus a back outside the right tackle, another one behind the left tackle. Zire going to take it, run a draw to Hurst, and he got tripped up as he came over the 40. He had a huge hole. Paul Carroll, a linebacker, lying on the ground, raised his arm and tripped him, and he only got a couple of yards to the 40. Third down, third and four. Georgia with a 20-point lead. Dogs have had a touchdown call back, and they've missed a long field goal. Georgia Southern has twice fumbled down there. Goal to goal in the vicinity of the dog 10, even inside the 10. Third down, a short four. Aye. And they go to fake. And Zyre's going to throw it to the tight end, who breaks off to the 50. Mitchell down and out of bounds around the 42. Shannon Mitchell. Austin, the corner, got him. Good fake again to Hurst. And they wound up on the play with about 18 yards. 
Shannon Mitchell broke over left to right across the middle after play action fake in the middle really worked. Tennessee an eight point lead up there in Knoxville finally. Miami still with a three point lead late with Penn State 17 14. It's an official's timeout right now. Wake Forest got three touchdowns in the second quarter. They got Vanderbilt down 20 to nothing. Something going on, an equipment fix up or something. I don't know what the officials are doing. 12 42, 27 to 7. in front of the Vanderbilt bench. Shannon Mitchell is the guy down. The dog's tight end. I thought an official was down for a moment. Shannon Mitchell, who caught the last pass, wound up right in front of the bench with our view blocked by all the players, and they're walking him back, and they'll sit him down. Paul Etheridge, a senior of Atlanta, has come in. Georgia, first down, fourth quarter, sitting out on the other guy's 42. We shift the tight end out on the slot. Zyre going to take it and go to Hurst, who's going to try to outrun him to the corner, picking his way and pushing, and they knock him out on the 36. Flag down back near the line, just across the line. Hurst got five or six yards. Austin, the corner, got him. And Dawson, a linebacker, got him. Ohio State leading Illinois now 16 to 15 in the fourth quarter. Catch a possible penalty here. Personal foul on Georgia Southern after the play. That'll give Georgia a first down. 27 to 7. Dogs still lead, and it's been that way for a while. And since it's been that way, Southern has twice come down to line up goal to go and dropped it both times. On the 22 yard line, Georgia knocks on the door, and it's been a while since they've been down there. Bryce Hunter, young receiver in. Bohannon on the other side. They're on the Eagles, 22. Zyre going to take it and go to Hurst. No room. He's in trouble behind the line, and they spin him around and knock him down for a loss of maybe a yard. It'll be second down and about 11. Virgil Harrington, the nose guard, played that ball very well. Second and 11. Lauren? Got Steve Bryant, one of the trainers here, to give us a report on uh, Shannon Mitchell. Uh, Lauren, he, uh, when he got hit on that play, on that pass play, bruised his lower back. We're going to let it settle down a little bit. He'll be back in there. Okay, Larry. Ball inside the 24, second and 11. Georgia knocking at it in the fourth quarter, still with a 20-point lead. Zyre underneath, toss sweep to Hurst, who dropped the ball. Well, he picked it up and got mobbed behind the line then by three white jerseys. It'll be another loss, maybe three or four yards. Harrington led the play again. He's a junior out of Statesboro, a tackle. Flag down after the play. Just now they threw a flag. And let's see what that is. There was shoving after the play, and an official just pitched the flag. The Dogs, Hurst, lost yards, trapped behind the line. They bring the ball back to where it was going to be spotted on the 27 and a half, which would have been a three-yard loss. And now we may have a penalty on Georgia Southern again. linebacker Paul Carroll wants to know why it's on them. He was gesturing with the officials. 27 to 7 of 11.22 to go. And here comes another dead ball foul. Another personal foul on Georgia Southern. The ball goes all the way down to the 13. 27 to 7. Georgia still leading. Lauren? Just wanted to know, Larry, if that was the same guy that bumped into you in the elevator yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Would, uh, would bump be the proper word there, Larry? <laughs> chest to chest. <laughs> Dogs ball on the 13. 27 to 7. A little over 11 minutes and fans are streaming out of here. The 27 to 7 has been that way for a long stretch. Most of the third quarter and now part of the fourth. Georgia three wide outs. Zyre underneath looking at a four-man front. Going to go to Max Strong, who's pushing and driving over the 10 to maybe the 7-and-a-half. Behind his right guard, behind O'Neill and Swan. Max Strong running at right guard behind Greg O'Neill, who is 6'6 six, six and 320. Second down, again with 6, the ball on the 7-and-a-half, second and 4. 
Hastings and Thomas slot out to the left. Georgia seriously knocking on the door. Second down. Fourth quarter. 20-point lead. Toss sweep to Hurst out to the right side. He runs right over a man and drives and gets down out of bounds around the one. Man, there was a guy waiting for him in the corner, and Hurst put his shoulder down and hit Austin, the cornerback, and knocked him back three, four yards. And it's going to be first down and goal to go. Needed four and got seven. Who did that remind you of? <laughs> Ball on. It's inside the one. He got it down to the half yard. At the end of the third quarter, Hurst had 137 yards on 10 carries. Georgia had 326 yards in the third at the end of the third, but Southern had 279. They had the ball 12 more minutes in the third. Dogs toss sweep to Hurst. A lot of room, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. They cut him out to the right side. His second touchdown of the day. And it's 33 to 7. Frank Harvey, a fine block in front of him. 10-22 to go, and it's 33 to 7. Georgia goes for the extra point. Still plenty of time. They set it down. The kick is up and the kick is good. And it's 34 to 7. Georgia leading timeout. John Peterson going to kick off. So the lead now. Four touchdowns. And the kick is a low flat ball. Fumbled by one man. Picked up on a bounce behind him on the six yard line by Bradham. He's coming up the middle. Trying to go back to the right. And they hit him hard on the 28 or 29. Hit by Derek Smith, the backup man at the linebacker, and Will Muschamp, a backup safety. Southern's ball on their own 29. Lauren? Well, Larry, it'll be interesting to see if Southern can execute that option like they did the last two drives, which was stopped by Fumbles. It'll be interesting if, when they give the ball up to see if they leave Hurst in there. I think they'd like to see him go in there and uh, keep gaining some yards. They think he deserves an opportunity to gain 200 yards today. Southern's ball on the 29. Dupree, the quarterback, keeps it as he comes sliding along the line and only got a yard to the 30. McKeever hit him. Greg Tremble, a safety, came up. McKeever grabbed at him in there. Second and nine. Georgia Southern on the 30. They've had the ball. 12 more minutes in Georgia at the end of the third. 34 to 7. Georgia Southern now strings everybody out to the left. Dupree goes back to the right, keeping it, getting to the corner. Secondary comes up to hit him along with the linebackers on about the 33 or 4. Travis Jones, a backup linebacker, flipped his feet up. And the ball will be spotted right outside the 32, where it's third down and six. Florida 14, LSU 13 in the third quarter. Southern up to the line. They're inside their own 35 on third down. Dupree takes it and comes back and looks for everybody, and they're going to sack him back there around the 26. Joe Dupree took a little bit too much time. Philip Daniels, one of the first men in there on him. Deshae McKeever on Osgard in there. Took a loss on that play of about six or seven yards back to the 26-yard line. And Thatcher, the punter, has come in for Georgia Southern. 34-7, to seven, the Dogs lead with eight and a half minutes. Thomas in a single safety, and the punt, beautiful, long spiral, fair catch. Thomas around the 32. Got his foot into that one pretty good. Kicked a 50-yarder or so in the vicinity of the Georgia 32. And it'll be first down for the dogs there. 8.21 is the clock. It's 34 to 7. Dogs have still got Zyre in there. And they still technically... They got a different man at right guard. Paul Taylor is there now. Otherwise, the offensive line is the same. Zyre underneath. Got an eye, two wide outs. Takes it, toss sweep to Hurst, wide to the left. Hurst turns, stops, cuts back in the middle, dodges people, got knocked and went down on the 40. 
And a tough eight yards going one way or the other. Rob Stockton, the strong safety, a redshirt freshman out of Clayton, flipped him up. Miami has defeated Penn State by three points, 17 to 14. So Miami is still in the hunt, and they've played Florida State and Penn State back-to-back, -back, one of them on the road. First got eight, second and two. Split the backs, two wideouts. Four, three defense for the Eagles. Movement in the line, and let's see what we got. Flags all over the place. One of our tackles, or guards, rather. Steve Roberts finally went back and picked the ball up. Some of the people backed up. Some of the people fell forward. May have been moving on Southern's part. I believe it is. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. Ball out of the 45. Defense offside. The clock is 7.38. And this huge crowd of better than 85,000 paid is filing out. First down on the 45. 34 to 7. Give it to Hurst. Hurst sprinting out to the left side. They knock him out of bounds as they cross the 50. Got it to the 49. Don Hudson, the safety, a senior out of Warner Robins, got him. Have a flag down where they knocked him out. He got six. We're going to have another penalty here. We might. Let's see. Dogs acting like this penalty may be on them. Holding on the offense. So the six-yard gain is going to be wiped out. 34 to 7. Half a quarter to go. Southern struck first today on a fourth and one keeper for 41 yards and a seven and nothing lead. It was about a minute and a half later when Hurst went 75 yards and tied it up. 34 to seven. Penalty on the dogs. First down and about 16 now from the spot of the holding out on the 39. Sire, fake, rolls to the right, stops, and he goes striking long down the field and broken up. Hassan Graham on the 12, up in the air with Sean Austin, the corner, who played it well. Zaire went for broke, long, and missed him down the right side. Syracuse 50, Rutgers 21 in the fourth quarter, Nebraska 27, Oklahoma State nothing in the second quarter. Here it's 34 to 7. Dogs get back in the conference next week. Vanderbilt's coming in here. Second down. Zaire underneath with an eye. Going to take it and play action fake again. Pumps twice, and then he goes long. And there's Hastings breaking down the field, and it's broken up on the 13, or it would have been a touchdown. Don Hudson coming across field on a long run, saved a touchdown. Dave, that's a pretty good play. And I think that's the second time today that Hudson has made an outstanding play on a wide open receiver. That was a touchdown, as you called it. Should have been in the end zone, if not for that tremendous play. Dived and tipped it away at the last second. Now he's done that a couple of times in and quite not so dramatically on the long, deep passes, but he can play back there. We threw two straight long bombs. Tennessee 24, Arkansas 22. Arkansas scored and went for two and did not make it. Third down, shotgun, snap desire, still wants to fire. Throws to Thomas, complete on the southern 43. That'll be a first down, but watch a flag down. Back on the line of scrimmage, we might have holding on the offense, so let's wait and see. And there's a flag down up by the ball, too. We just had an 18-yard pass play, but we've got penalty flags in two spots. Lauren? Well, it looks like there was uh, probably an offensive call back at the line of scrimmage, Larry. That looks like holding down at the point of the tackle. There's got to be uh, a defensive penalty, so I guess they're probably going to be offsetting penalties. That's what it looks like from here. Officials have had a short confab. Can you believe Arkansas scored and had a chance to tie it up? Holding on the offense, they say there is no other penalty. Apparently the other flag never fell. Ten-yard penalty on Georgia, back to the 29. Now he's coming back the other way. He went 10 yards in one direction, and now he's going 15 in another direction. Now a dead ball foul of 15 on Southern. So he stepped off 10 against the Dogs, and he stepped off 15 against Southern, and now we're up on the 44, and it's third and 11. Huh. 
Arkansas ran a punt back 70 yards. Went for two and missed it, or they would have had a tie. First down, dogs get a first down up inside their own 44. We change the tailback. Zire is in a shotgun. Zire dumps it out to Strong in the left flat. Who fumbled the ball? And it's Southern's ball on their own 47. Little five-yarder in the left flat. Somebody knocked it out of his arms. Huey Hunt, the linebacker for Southern, fell on the ball. Three or four more yards down the field, and it's Southern's ball on their own 47. Station identified. At your values. News Talk Radio, AM 750, WSB Atlanta. Southern's ball on their own 47. Dupree hands to the fullback. They run him up the middle of the yard and a half or so. They tell me Arkansas just recovered a fumble late in the game up in Knoxville. They're giving the ball spits. Ball on the 49. The gain for the fullback. About a yard and a half. Give me a yard, second and nine. Arkansas went for an onside kick after they went for two and missed it, and they got the ball. But they're out around the 50 somewhere. Here it's 34 to 7 with six minutes. Here comes a quarterback to pre outside, and our linebacker grabbed him, Derek Smith, redshirt freshman of Memphis, and pulled him down. Jeff Kaiser, defensive end, helping him. They got a yard or so close to the 50, third and eight. 5.43 to go. Arkansas fighting to really pull one off up there, but they got half the field to go, and I don't know how much time they have. Here, Southern's got half the field to go, and they got a little over five minutes. They trail 34 to 7. Joe Dupree underneath puts one of the backs in motion. Now he's rolling out to the left and is going to fire too high, incomplete on the 40. Derek Smith had pressure on the quarterback. It was intended for Willis, the corner, and we really hit him, Willis, the flanker, and really knocked him into the Georgia bench. 5-14 is the clock. Fourth down, and the dogs put Jeff Thomas back at safety. Southern's on the 50, fourth down and eight. Took him a while to get Thatcher, the punter, in there. 34-7. The snap with no pressure on him. The kick, beautiful. High spiral. Thomas, fair catch around the 14. Good kick. Caught well by the deep man with white jerseys coming around. And it'll be George's ball on their own 14. And they'll go to Preston Jones now at the quarterback. And Harvey will be in again at full as a backup full. O'Neal back into the guard, replacing Taylor. We've put Stark into the tackle. We're changing people in the line. George's ball on their own 14. New center. David Weeks is now the center. Dogs first down, 34 to 7 lead in the fourth quarter. Terrell Davis in motion. Run the fullback Harvey. They hit him hard, and he fell forward a yard and a half and no more. Dogs even have Warner a tight end. We have a, virtually a complete number two line. We have to check the left guard. 4.49, the clock running, 34 to 7. Dogs on the 16. Stark, Parker, Weeks, O'Neill, and Fredenberg is the offensive line for Georgia, the number two line. 34 to 7. Preston Jones on second down and eight. Going to take it. Toss sweep to Terrell Davis, coming out to the corner, cutting to about the 22. He got five or six yards. He pushed his fullback, Harvey, in one spot, wanted him to hurry up as he came to the corner. Dogs are going to be third down about two and a half or so. Ronald Johnson, the defensive end on that side, played it well. The official spotted outside the 22. Georgia's third down and two. David Weeks, red shirt freshman, number two center, gets over the ball. Southern's up there in a 
Preston Jones going to give it to the tail. Terrell Davis broke a tackle, spins around, gets out to the left corner, and then they bend him backwards after he gained maybe three and a half on a first down. Dawson hit him. Arkansas just came up with a huge pass play, Larry. They were facing third and 16. They get that first down. Yeah, right down the middle. They got a first down. They're driving on Tennessee. Inside about a minute and a half. Georgia has a first down on the 27 as Terrell Davis spun and twisted his way. Dogs of the first down. I. Preston Jones underneath. They're out there on their own 27. Terrell Davis in motion. Give it to the full fake. Jones back. Fires over the middle and it is complete to James Warner. The tight end on the first down up on the 43 yard line. About flag down on the play after it ended. Let's see what we got. He got a 14-15 yarder. I keep glancing up at Arkansas and Tennessee. It was 24-22. Arkansas got an onside kick. Penalty on the play. Face mask going to be on Georgia Southern. 3:02 says the clock. Up in Knoxville, they got a minute and six seconds. Arkansas trying to get in position to kick a field goal and turn the conference upside down. Yeah. Ball the 48, first down. Got an eye. Got three wideouts this time, two on the right and one on the left. And they run it to Terrell Davis, and one man got him on the corner, and they only got a yard. Breaking outside, Scott Davis got him. Preston Jones, the backup quarterback, looks at the side to get his plays. George is on her own 49, second down. 34 to 7, been that way a long time, just as the third quarter stayed 27 to 7 for virtually a whole quarter. I slot left on second down late in the game, but better than two minutes. Preston Jones going to go to Terrell Davis. They met him right on the line. He tried to bounce out and couldn't bounce out. He lost a half a yard. Huey Hunt, the linebacker, led the procession. Up in Knoxville, Tennessee, Arkansas is trying to fight closer to get in position for some kind of a field goal. They're only behind by two. Dogs are inside the 49, lost a half yard. It's third down, about nine. Their field goal kicker, Arkansas, has already booted three today. Third down. Georgia leads 34 to 7. Jones underneath. Dogs inside their own 49. Man in motion, Terrell Davis. Preston Jones runs a trap with Harvey. Harvey drives, broke out over the 48 and is close to a first down on their 41 and a half. He kept driving and pushing. He's big and wide, as you know. Big, thick legs. He looks like he got nine and a half on the first down. Scott Davis, a sophomore linebacker, hit him. Georgia's got a first down. Not quite touching Georgia Southern's 41. Dogs up to the line, leading 34 to 7. I'm trying to keep one eye on that clock up in Knoxville, where Arkansas is trying hard to get close enough for a field goal again. 28 seconds left. 26. First down, give it to Terrell Davis. He came outside, stumbling off balance, and got knocked down in the 38 by Michael Morris, defensive right end. Arkansas up north is in a no-huddle offense, trying to get it closer. They're inside the 30. They just got racked up again. They're right down around the 25, but they're near the hash marks, I believe. And they may have stopped the clock, but I'm guessing at that. 34-7, to 7, Georgia leads here with 31 seconds. And it's second down, and about six and a half. Toss sweep to Big Harvey with blocking. He's coming on the corner. He tripped and stumbled and went down as he came across the 35. Got about four yards. He got hurt. He went down as he tripped. Huey Hunt, the linebacker, fell on him. Now let's see who's up slow also. Big Harvey is down with the ball inside the 35 and only five seconds to go. They're lining up that field goal in Arkansas. Mike Thornton of Albany will come in and Harvey is down. It's 34 to seven here and the dogs are third. Third down, it'll be about two and a half but the dogs have got a big full back down. And up north, Arkansas going to try, I think, 
with a few seconds to go to kick a field goal and pull off the upset of the year. Harvey's up now and walking off. When he stumbled, he was by himself. He had not been hit yet, and his leg buckled. He's coming off now, but he's running at half speed. The clock may run here. Georgia leading 34-7 to on third down with the ball inside the 35. And that's the end of the game. Georgia has defeated Georgia Southern 34-7. Timeout here. The